No, say what you had said. So these people don't think I'm crazy. No, I said I, I bet money that you could beat these niggas in the basketball shooting competition. They ain't believe me. All I heard was beat in the shooting competition and the answer is yes. Okay, hold on. speak up. You know I got war ears. Facts. Look, y'all be forgetting. I'm in the war. These ears is traumatized. Okay. I can't hear nothing y'all be saying. I be trying to read your lips when you talk, but you always got food in your mouth. My name is Ken Bowley, and I got a rich bed. <laughs> Why are you in the bag, here? I got a rich bed. Because he a I don't take naps. I take siestas. <laughs> <laughs> I got a wealthy nigga bed. No siesta. <laughs> now you need to live a life, baby. Oh, shit. That's funny. That boy got a rich bed. <laughs> I got a rich bed. <laughs> Meg Scoop Face. Hey, man. Oh, I like what? that here, man. Why you come on with the pouty lips? Mm -hmm. What you know about BT? You be doing it too? Sometimes. I knew it. Mm -hmm. hey, I, know what you, what I do you it every time I go to uh, McDonald's and I'm trying to get some extra french fries in the bags of black. <laughs> you place your hands on your pearls or your bed? Can you drop some extra fries in my bag? Meanwhile, they like, no, we're not giving you anything. Ew. <laughs> not <laughs> ew. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. My flirt to get what I need game is pretty, pretty, pretty fantastic. I it, believe it. Pretty, You're charming. Hey, is this just my... on food or is this like other things too? This was in the uh when we got to the hotel. Um and whatever city just just was, they told us they ain't had no room. As soon as everybody stepped away, I got the bip, 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 bip. I had a room eight minutes later, baby. That's all hey. I think. Hey, I'll just give me a second with her. Let me see. Okay. What did you offer it. her? <laughs> I dripped in fantasy island. 30 Swiss rolls, two honey buns, <laughs> 48 cupcakes. Yeah, you okay? Are you sick? Well, Keon got a rich bed. Wait, I he can't muted. I don't know if you know he muted. You are mute, Keon. Oh, yeah, you muted, Keon. Are you okay? It looked like you in bed with like a broken leg or something. No, I'm just chilling. Oh, are you eating in the bed? Ew. No, I got some of mine too that I was trying to get out. I was about Ew. to ask. Keon eats in the bed. Ew. I don't eat in the bed. <laughs> Here. Y'all be eating in the bed? Nah, yeah. I can't eat in the bed. Yeah. You know they eat in the bed. I know. I don't even know why I asked that. Y'all look I like y'all. I that never used to do it. That whole is Tahir's bib. Okay? I never that used is. to do that. But um, what happened is Farron, Farron likes to eat in the bed. Like when she gets home from the club, we get back in. She likes to eat in the bed. She got a heater on. She got a heating pad on the bed. And mm -hmm. she she's sitting crisscross applesauce doing this dance while she's eating, getting mm -hmm. everything warm. And then she just slides under the covers right after so. Uh, I, I will I TV. will eat in the bed. I haven't I haven't watched TV in my bedroom in maybe four years, five years. You don't I'll, call you don't call the, the food shows you watch TV? Is that more like porn? I, I, won't, I haven't turned the TV on, bro. And that is not on purpose. I don't have no I ain't reading books. I don't have no weird ass logic behind this we shit. We knew you wasn't reading books. You have yeah, they can fuck books. books. <laughs> it's a movement. We do that. I know. We we know you didn't pay the bill. It's okay. It's nah, okay. It, I got it. Oh, y'all should see my TV. Bro. And you ain't got no lights on in there. It's okay. We get it. BT, you're still our friend. I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna show y'all my TV in my in my spare room. This shit can't. Why are you getting so excited, BT? Right. Like, I don't I don't know what remote is. I probably can't turn it on, but I'm gonna show you. BT, what's your house smell like? What cup of noodles? Does it feel like it doesn't? <laughs> I feel like it smells like a bachelor pad. A cup of noodles, wings, and uh, feet. <laughs> and feet. Yeah, That's horrible. Cause you I would know, hate coming home to that every day. Bachelors just be throwing socks around all the damn yeah. time. Yeah, but I got bitches though, so eventually they come over and drop off some good sense. <laughs> BT, what are you doing? Warming up a cup of noodles? What? Oh, you want to show us the TV you don't use? No, this I know this ain't my bedroom. This is my uh this is my gaming room. 
Ooh, okay. Yeah. B2, where you live at home with your mama? <laughs> you in the basement? <laughs> Look at my spare that? room. You mean your mom's spare room? <laughs> <laughs> That's, y'all talking to Mr. Sprite. That nigga got his own place. Oh, oh, we, know. we know. We know he's doing well. We just wonder why he don't live like he's doing well. Okay. <laughs> I beg your his, his food is still that of a uh, twenty-year-old college kid. BT has stepped up his game. He um don't do that. He what's the touch screen? Uh, no. <laughs> Why you touch it? I didn't know if it was or was it. I was really <laughs> <laughs> he had his mama out, girl. He don't know if it worked. Uh, BT got velour jackets and, and and hoodies now. He switched from regular hoodies, and the scarves are gone. It's all about the texture for him now. Yeah, what happened to the scarves, BT? You know what happened? What happened? Yeah, what happened to the scarves? I miss scarves, BT. I, I yeah. had a scarf on last night. I did, but but dear right, I be on I be, be hoodies a lot. I what do you do in the summer? Scarves, thin ones, summer scarves. Like silk scarves, <laughs> like, some, like some, is it silk? It's linen. What is it? A little rayon. You know what I mean? Something thin. <laughs> rayon is something, thin, something, something thin and flowy. It's like the same texture as a summer dress. So you wear a t-shirt with a summer scarf. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it makes the sound of fire. You can hear it. No, nah. so funny. Nah, we can't hear. Mom, the turn the fire TV on. <laughs> it heats up too. Girls are coming over like, oh, I like when the fire TV. I'll put the fire. No, they don't TV get to come in here. This is PlayStation room. I come in here. I don't. I ain't gonna touch it. <laughs> you, you know the new downloads come in. I don't have no interest in vagina when it's a new Call of Duty out. So you just got the fire TV on and playing Call of Duty. That's it, baby. Romantic. The lights of candles. <laughs> lights of candles. Late hey, night. I do, I do light a candle when I play. When I be gaming. So I, I feel you. <laughs> Does everybody have a candle in the room that they in right now? Yeah, sets the mood. Not in this one. Oh, I, got, yeah. I got one right in this room. This was actually a candle I bought for a dude, and then we broke up. So I just I didn't want to return it because it smelled good. Yeah, uh, Lou, you just got back in town too, didn't you? Yes, sir. You have a good trip. Yes, sir. Yeah, you had what a good trip, trip, girl. Yeah, I did. What you do on your trip? Tell me. I ain't listening. Nothing makes it okay. I had. What you doing on your trip, girl? Tell us. Tell us. We want to know. I went, ooh, I went to Putt Shack. Um, it was like four levels of putting, golf putting. And then went to Skyline. I had like a real golf uh a weekend. Like it was fun. I did some that's uh, dope, Lou. Yeah. Dope. You got I'm your glad first, you, I'm glad uh, you ain't listening to Meg. She don't know what she's talking about. I had, I had fun. Up to here. I had a fucking you got ball. your first birdie, uh Lulu. Oh man, my first birdie was epic, man. Like a legit birdie. Like I ain't drop no balls. I ain't like fake oh. no strokes. Like it oh. was, yeah. It it's was not epic. a pause if she says something about balls, BT. Oh, it's always a pause if it's sexual. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh. Yeah, it is. That's not how that works. That is. Y'all don't know how balls work. <laughs> you don't know how we don't have them. Work. You're right. Yeah. Wait, did y'all see that they do a no diddy now? Oh, yeah, yeah. No Wanna. Instead of yeah. saying pause, you say no diddy. <laughs> hey, niggas is out of out of pocket, man. Niggas is so out I think of it's pocket. appropriate. Niggas That's is so hilarious. out of pocket, man. I, I and remember. I didn't really get it when I saw it online. It was like on Twitter on X. It was like you know people are using that instead of pause now, and I was like, huh? It was I was like so slow, and then nobody, I saw somebody nobody like, man, that you man, that meat was so good, no diddy, and I was like, oh, that's how you mean it, okay? <laughs> I mean, New York has been saying that for a minute. So Wait, you, no diddy? Like you be like you on your diddy shit? Oh, um, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, oh, that, I thought that was a good thing. It's a bad thing. It depends uh, on the context. It depends yeah. on what they're referring to. Like if you got you starting multiple business, okay, nigga, I see you on your daddy shit. If you like trying to get everybody to come back to your hotel at the Holiday Inn, it's like if it's just a whole bunch of dudes hanging out, drinking, having a good time in a hotel, oh, you on your daddy shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm cool. I nah, you you nah, gonna have fun. <laughs> you gonna have fun. I can't you got, you got it, baby. Why did he land in the bed like Diddy? Like he ain't talking it's, to it's us or nothing. Yeah, you ain't you ain't, you know? ain't contributing on nothing. Yeah, man, what you doing? Right, what, you are, so what is you doing? Listen, I, don't, I don't. Everybody was talking. I don't want to talk over nobody. When people are going off, I'm like, I'm a listener. 
Sorry that I have Look at your lips in the bag. Etiquette and cool. Okay. You guys are talking about Diddy. I don't. Why are you in the bed? This is, we are working. We are professionals. Why are you laying down? Y'all lucky. I am working from home. I am in the bed. (laughs) There's no other place that you can work from home at in your house. Kiana's on maternity leave. Every place is loud. (laughs) Agreed. So. If I if I had a bed like that, I'd be in it too. I got a my wet headboard still wood. I thought that's what we was doing. <laughs> I don't know when we start doing these ten foot uh, soft cushiony headboards. This thing is way too high. Like I didn't realize how high it was until it get it was here, and I was like, this is this is too high. You don't. That's a marriage bed. You don't need that until then. It looks like sec- it like a sexy cracker. <laughs> <laughs> you were related to food, <laughs> like a sexy salty. I was like, gee. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's that captain. <laughs> the uh, club cracker, man. The glove, the, yeah, the buttery one. Club crackers be good, though. Hey, what rooms are y'all in? Back up to 1.9 billion. Y'all want to make a pack? You, you said, said what? what? I said, what rooms are y'all in in your homes, in your in your places? I'm in my office. Room. Office, game rooms. Where are you at to here? Uh, I'm in my office at the career. That's his pantry. You ain't see the food on the side? <laughs> Come alive from my pantry. First of all, yeah. if I had a pantry that big, you know how happy I would be? <laughs> That's why to hear me cheesing all the time. Because right. his pantry is big. And he got music in his... You see back there? It's music on that wall. You got all type, like every type of sausage known to man on the other wall. Yeah. Every condiment to go with the sausages. From the, no from the canned food section. You jealous? You niggas jealous? No, oh, I'm envious. I, I I would be so happy to have that me. little bag of pickles. A bag of pickles? You know, he'd be getting that little bag of fresh pickles. With little hot dog snacks. Oh, man. Meg, Meg did you just uh, no diddy it? Did you try to... Sing? I did. I tried to put that in there. It doesn't really work for me because I'm a girl, but, you know, you get it. It doesn't work for you because you're not cool, lame. Shut up, here. Go back to playing your bass drum. I still, I still like, uh, I keep it, I keep it African with mine. The African dude. Anytime somebody do something, I just be like, "Why are you gay?" <laughs> just, that'll never get old for me. That was the funniest interview of all time. So, is, that, is that real or is that? That a was a real interview. I mean, because I watched and I was like, I feel like he's still joking. Oh, he was he because he was so confused, so he was serious. And he wanted to just go because he this was this was made it funny. He was trying to be polite. He was like, "Should I call you Mister? <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming. Why are you gay? Like as soon as he said thank you, he was like, "Yo, let's get to it. Why are you gay? <laughs> that was the best. I watched that interview like the dog. <laughs> you are gay. <laughs> you are gay. Are gay. And he was so he was confused. Like, Who said I am gay? But you are gay. Uh, and then they, 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 if you watch, like a lot of people didn't watch the whole thing because it's hella long, but they finally cut up like all the good parts. At the end, he's so confused. He goes, okay, so who is gay? <laughs> like somebody here gotta be gay, bro. Like, <laughs> what, what is happening? So who is gay? Because oh, it funny. ain't me. So who is it? That's bro, some funny. of the, some of the internet, uh, like classic videos. Oh my God, man. Mm-hmm. Oh man! Every time you fall into one, well, I, I saw Leroy Jenkins the other day. I saw, I watched. Um, what's the? Uh, they they are really kidnapping for real. You are really dumb. The dude that saved everybody. <laughs> yeah. The gay dude that saved everybody. Uh, because they they raping everybody out of here. Antoine. I, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, he just man. made a video. Um, recently he was like, "All of y'all use my likeness. Use my words." To y'all advantage, y'all got paid off of it. Did nobody, you know what I'm saying, told me anything, anything like this? Like, nigga, yeah, that's, that's how, how the works. internet works. That's, how, <laughs> that's the internet, baby. That is, now, that my, is. My favorite. You go host some parties. My favorite video, I just watched it recently, too, is when Ray J was sitting down. I think With the glasses? Sleeping. And. He was like, they unbreakable. He's like, I'm going to break it. <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, Lulu, oh, please tell me you watched that whole interview. I didn't watch the whole interview. Nigga, you gotta see the rest of the interview. <laughs> By the he end of it, he's sitting there with him goes, on his face. He was like, he goes, I, 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 don't I don't care. care. <laughs> I don't care. Lulu, I'm gonna send you the, the highlight part of that video after. 
he breaks them, he puts them on his face and says, see, still not broken. What is wrong with him? <laughs> Yo, also real, y'all, that I probably is the funniest thing I've seen in years, man. Yeah. He was so adamant. He was just like, they break them speedy. He said, speedy. Bro, I will, you I will cannot break, break them speedy. Break them. Bro, I don't I'll, care. Break, I'll break them. Don't. He's like, I don't want to break it, man. You break it. No, they are breakable. Pop. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, I don't care. Ray J is hilarious unintentionally. He be Listen, serious. And niggas be like, what's wrong with this nigga, bro? I had the is, pleasure bro. of producing uh, Celebrity Squares and working with Ray J. When I say Ray is probably one of the coolest, funniest people, like celebrity-wise, that I got to work with, he he's just like a vibe from yeah. top to bottom. He knows how to be controversial he knows how to be the star he knows how to make yo when i say he had me dying and every time we'd be like cut he'll come on he'd be like did i do you proud lulu did i do you proud? <laughs> <laughs> i was like man right, you killing this shit man. all right killing well listen me. this is about as good a spot as any for us to jump into the first topic but before we do we shout out to our special guest in the house we got mr bt kingsley in the building and we got keon poli back for the first time in the month of sundays it's good to see you brother hope all is well Thanks for having me. I need you to bring the energy up, Keon. Okay. This this cool nigga shit that you're doing right now is pissing me off. Okay? Sit oh. up. Oh. What do you get excited about? Push-ups? What what gets you going? What is uh <laughs> food? Food and sex. Those are my two. Those are <laughs> hey, how much madness is over here. Just like it's done. My games ain't on right now. If the games is on, I would not be here. I know. That's why I said pretend, <laughs> motherfucker. Pretend. <laughs> Pretend. Uh, shout out to the OG squad. We got Lulu, Meg scooping up to hear more. We're going to jump into this first topic right after this. This episode of Squadcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Look, it could be easy to ignore our social batteries and spread ourselves thin, especially with social gatherings. So how do you recharge your social battery? I know for me, I normally start off right about at 70% when I get to the gathering. I'm going to be real with you. I get there and I'm like, all right, what's up, what's up? And then I'm like, all right, I could be ready to go. <laughs> in about 30 minutes. And for me to recharge, I to go home, chill, relax, or take a nap or something like that. And then my batteries are recharged and go back outside again. And this is what I love about therapy. It can give you the self-awareness to build a social life that doesn't destroy your battery. I've talked about it plenty of times. I've been in therapy for years at this point, and it has gave me so many different skills to navigate through life. It's also helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. And it isn't just for those who have experienced major trauma in their lives. One of my favorite things about BetterHelp, it's entirely online, designed to be convenient and flexible and suitable to your schedule. So if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash squad today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash squad, S Q U. ADD. First topic of the day we have, would you rather have a working lightsaber versus a bionic arm? Oh, what's a working lightsaber? Like a working lightsaber, like Star Wars, an actual oh, lightsaber. lightsaber. I thought you said a lifesaver. Oh, no, no, lightsaber. Like, Nick, why do I want candy that lasts forever? Like, <laughs> I, I, why do I, no, a lightsaber. Or a bionic arm. A bionic it arm. It still bionic sounds arm. like you're saying lifesaver. Saber. Saber. Burr. 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 Meg, after I cleared it up, there was no need to do that. You just being intentionally petty. You keep saying it. Stop saying lifesaver. Not your. Not what you got in your pocket currently. Say lightsaber. Shut your fat face up. He tried to collect. He was like, you guys. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Meanwhile, I tell it sounds like the wrong way. Shut up, Meg. Shut up, Meg. Okay, I'm Wait, sorry um, you got so extra spaces in your arm, teeth. With the huh? bionic arm, does that mean we've we had we lost our regular arm? Um, or is it like a bionic sleeve I could put on over my arm? It's like mm -hmm. Jax and Cable from X Men. Just and one arm, though, right? Just Give one me arm, that arm, bro. Give me that arm. Yeah, give me that you, arm for sure. You know how hard it's gonna be for me to date with this bionic arm? Give me that arm, Lulu. It, have you ever seen my six hundred pound life? That's different. None of them got bionic body parts. They just big. They have tremendous body parts. If they can do it, you can do it, Lou. I promise you, you can. 
If you think that's going to hold you back? You said you didn't want the arm, Lou? Huh? You said you didn't want the arm? No, I can't do none of this. I can't yes, you this. can, girl. You can do that forever. You, oh, I'm you never going to get tired. But that grip is not going to You have another it, arm. Yeah, man. That's just too much work on one arm. Oh. The bionic <laughs> arm is a robot. Lou, you like ain't jacking nobody off to completion. No way. Shut up. You don't Get know my head life. Get, moving. Lulu Get like some the head and keep it moving. <laughs> Stop being lazy. Commit to it and keep <laughs> it moving. I got things to do, man. Hurry up. Like, oh, <laughs> you lazy son of a bitch. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> With a lifesaver, though. But you I don't want to learn. I don't want to have to learn a lifesaver. Hey, and you got to carry that with you. The arm is always there. You just got the arm. Yeah, it's like people have prosthetic big. arms. It's kind of the same. Anybody, this, anybody this step out of the arm? This is arm. how big it is. This is just a little taller than your phone, bro. Like you got your phone with you at all times. This is not that big. That? What do you have? What is that? Don't That's worry about it. Okay, well, to here, besides steering a brisket, what are you going to do with your lightsaber? <laughs> I can shave a little bit off the top of your shoulders. <laughs> yes. Didn't hit, didn't hit. What else could you do with it? Like, what are you going to do with it? Nigga, I don't have to do anything with it. I'm going to be the talk of every Comic Con. I can get paid to come to Comic Cons. I can make Hell yeah, of money off of you YouTube gotta learn videos. how to actually wield that shit. You can't just be wielding a, a lightsaber and you don't know how to use it. He that's gonna be true. Like that's a, true. Like a right. They gonna rob you and take it from you. You're not even gonna be able to go. Who yeah, who people are paying me to rob you. Right. You get robbed rob to here. Who gonna rob you? You got Tyrannosaurus Rex arms trying to with a lightsaber. They already took it from you. Why the sounds are so accurate? It was. That's what I said. Oh, really good. Good. I, whoever try to rob me, I'm a, I'm gonna just ignite it. I mean, turn it on and throw it at them. Now they no, no, you ignite it. You ignite it. You, you for sure ignite a lifesaver. You don't turn them on because you got to. You got to get that full. And now wait, is this the dark ball? Is it both sides? Nah, nah, I wouldn't do that. That's too dangerous. Mm, okay. Just the one side. Oh, like the original one ain't. Yeah, like yeah, the I don't know how to wield the sword, so I'm gonna have to use this bitch like a baseball bat. I mean, you could do that, or you could practice. You could practice with a baseball bat. But I'm not gonna practice with a broomstick. No, because if you accidentally hit yourself with a lightsaber, you still got you still yeah. got zipped it. Yeah, so you, it's it's over. You just gotta yeah, be I careful. Want, I mean, I ain't no be... attack of the clones. You gotta fight. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't. I just don't see the point of the lightsaber with the arm. I see a lot of benefits to the arm. What's the benefits, Ti? What you gonna do? Shit. What what the fuck you gonna do, Kia, with the arm? So like, if I had the arm and a nigga talking like that, hey, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh -uh. You gonna like, kill him? Now you going, going to jail? I'm not control of the arm. I don't know. I, I, You're not in control of the arm, that's really? Not, that's not, I didn't know the power behind the arm. The the saber, that's a weapon. Nigga, you nobody believes that you don't know the power behind the arm. Would you know. have the? Arm. Have, is the arm visible or is it like I robot? Is it a Will Smith arm? Mm, that's a good question. Mm, yeah, that's a different. Like, are you am I cable or is it like the uh, I think we gotta say cable for this one? Mm. I, I like it as cable. I like but it. But you as... could you could hide a lightsaber. You can't, so I should be able to hide the arm. No, nah, with the sleeve, hide, girl, hide, you put it on your sleeve on the, the and it glove. doesn't you work got in it. convenience for you, Lou. If anything, he always works in this inconvenience for you. Why can't I put a hoodie over the arm? I'm not understanding. You can. You can. You can. It's you can. Just saying, we're just saying it's not like I robot arm where it's Will was just a robot arm. Off. Yeah, like a like Terminator where he pulled, you know what I mean? Pull the skin off like that. So on the like, summer, it ain't no on. skin. Can I take the arm on and off? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a really good question. Detractable? Yes, you, 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 you can detach your arm if you want to, Kia. So now no. you need a suitcase for your arm when you travel. How far does oh. the arm go up? Does it go to the shoulder? shoulder? It's right here. Is that the road? So I'm, so I'm winter soldier. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. that might be good for oh. golf. I'm you never know, I change my answer. I'm gonna take it because I might give me some yardage. Yeah. Give me a robot. And you know what? And the other thing is I feel like if you have a bionic arm, you can have like compartments in it. Right. So like you can have tools. I feel like I would have a screwdriver. I have all a flashlight, all types of screwdriver for, man. 
I don't know. That's don't you ever be needing a screwdriver? You don't have one. Said, Meg. That's the most Asian <laughs> shit you ever said. She's gonna have an abacus, a calculator, <laughs> golf <right> pencils. <laughs> I just feel like that's what you're going to do with it. You know, and like you can like cha- like you have the little chains that you can do on your hand. You can put different attachments. So you have like the you put the screwdriver on there. I can put like a mixer and I can like mix my food with it. Like <laughs> <laughs> and I can mix my food with it. That would be great. I ain't got to like do this. I could just put my but little like, mixer attachment. Like, arm heavy? Huh? Um, um, it's made with Nanotech. vibranium, it's so it's not too heavy. Yeah, Ooh, vibranium. Yeah, that's heavy. Yeah, you can punch somebody with that and they die. Yes. Yeah, arm. I don't Your know why you got so dead. excited about that, Meg. Because it's a weapon dead. without meaning to be one. <sighs> okay. Unless I can like punch through an ATM or something like that. Like, then they gonna know it's, they. They definitely would know it's you, Lou. Ain't nobody uh-huh. out here. KO and uh, uh, ATL with one hit besides bionic long bionic arm Lou. It wasn't me. <laughs> Do the I, cops I come around? Take the arm off? Put it in the suitcase? I said Mind you, all ATMs got a camera on them, Lou. <laughs> from the back. You yeah. they're against the wall. You can't do it from the back. You gotta walk to the front, and they strong. see you. I can just like Lulu this. walking up to the thing. <laughs> 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 just a camera. Ain't no camera. Ever since we've been talking about this, my my left arm been tingling. Ever since we've been talking about this arm, I've been like, because it would definitely be my left arm. Because you want you want one, bro. It's like I want one right now. Yeah, it would definitely be my left (laughs) arm too. I wouldn't trade my. It could also be a sign of stroke. Oh shit! Do you smell (laughs) toast? Do you smell toast? Peanut butter. (laughs) Don't (laughs) play. See, y'all really don't want no lightsaber for real. Oh, why? You, you gotta got train for you. that. Nigga, you, you don't want cool. a lightsaber. A lightsaber, a lightsaber is cool as hell, bro. He, you just want it so you can like do your s'mores in the bed with it. You ain't gotta get up. <laughs> You're, You're right. naming all benefits, Meg. You're not insulting <laughs> me. We don't want that. Hey, to here, you see mad clumsy because you be having a lot of condiments in your hand. That saber gonna become real slippery. You gonna accidentally cut your. It's gonna shit be off. on my keychain, Lou. I'm gonna be like a custodian. It's <laughs> gonna be on my keychain. No, you definitely get robbed. You definitely. Uh, somebody gonna steal that. I I'm like. Sure. I do the 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 best thing about the lightsaber is the fact that it like comes out because like I could just be sitting here talking and you I don't like where the conversation go. It's like like more than actually wielding it. I like the fact that it could just and it, that sound that sound is so satisfying. Mm-hmm. Like if you were doing yeah, that, you didn't want to kill a person. You like you should leave. Like what? And then like, oh, you're right. Mm-hmm. You're right. And just get the fuck mm-hmm. up out of there, nigga. That shit is dope as hell. You need better years than, of than training. that shotgun guy. <laughs> Y'all not, need years not, of training for that. Yeah, it's not practical. You, you know, I done. haven't been training for this very moment right here. The arm is practical, man. Yeah. Yeah, I like. I'm gonna go Winter Soldier, bro. Yeah, I hate yeah. bro. Y'all missing. Y'all missing key opportunities right here. I'm just what y'all gonna do. I mean, y'all like. Y'all can't listen. Y'all, y'all gonna have to look. Lou always talking about robbing the ATM and all that shit. Y'all gonna have to do shit like that for money. I'm gonna be balling. What? Bro, we got a dollar to bro. Bro. $50,000 appearance fees at Comic-Con, nigga, nah. every, every you, weekend. You don't think people want to pay $2,000 to see the bionic arm comedian? Yeah, bro. No. Fuck no. What you going to do? Yes, Up they do. All I'm going to do stage? is go on TikTok yes. Live and do this shit, and they're going to give me mad gifts and money. And like, All right, Wait. I'm trying to understand the logic of you being able to go to Comic-Con, and we can't with the bionic arm. Why can't Only you can go to Comic-Con? Here's the thing. His bionic arm is cool. It's very tell. cool at Comic Con. Like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? Look at this war veteran and look how far technology has come. That's what they're gonna wow. say. When I put, no, I'm mm-hmm. saying like, if you lose an arm or something, they automa- most people are automatically equate it to like war or accident or something. I come with a lightsaber, nigga, and I'm the only one with a lightsaber, nigga. What? Okay, you I got a caveat. Bi- you got a bionic arm. I cut your arm off. Now what you gonna do? Now they gonna be like, like you can't yeah, vibranium soldier. Here, you have sleep apnea, nigga. You're not gonna hear me steal your lightsaber when you knocked out, bro. <laughs> we stealing shit. You the easiest to steal from if we're right. Stealing. 
First of all, all you got to do is when he go to sleep, just switch this lightsaber with a glizzy and just like. Where was here before? Huh? It's it's not not even it. Same shape. He going to think it's there. Like, <laughs> wake up and take a bite and go back to sleep. <laughs> That's it. First of all, I'll have you know that my CPAP is quiet as fuck. Yeah, so that's 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 all about <laughs> Lou. I would hear your clomping ass come in with sixteen inch Timberlands on, like you you ain't not stealthy. It's you in a glizzy coma. You don't hear shit, man. Uh, Keon would want to knock out a glizzy coma before he left the house because that's just the type of nigga he is. He'd get caught doing a, a victory push up dance. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the like she said, do the little switch. You don't know. You all right, look. Go. So you look, know? you get the bionic arm right. But the only way you get it is you got to have your real arm cut off by Tahir and a lightsaber. Cut it you off. Gotta, you got to cut your actual arm off and let you gotta let it sizzle. That's, good. For That's a like bit. cauterizing it at the same time. Yeah. He sliced, he's slicing up turkeys. I trust him. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely trust Tahir. That's the one person I would trust. <laughs> what if he... Hey, man, he get under the wing. Get what if he did it wrong? Community. What if he cut you at the bicep? Like, oh man, I missed a little piece. We gotta, we gotta go back in and slice a little more. Nah, off. Man, yeah, let's put it to a vote. I'm sick. By of that it. time, I'm in shock. I didn't passed out. So yeah, yeah I ain't, I ain't gonna know. <laughs> All right, man. I'm, I'm sick of y'all, bro. Get that bionic arm. Give me that arm. arm. Give me that arm. Give me that arm, baby. Left arm for sure, though. If it's the right arm, I don't want it. Meg, what about you? Going bionic arm. I'm going lightsaber, man. Y'all some, y'all some hoes. All right, <laughs> bionic arm has it on that one. We're gonna move on to this next topic right after this. Next topic of the day, we have Drake versus Kendrick. And what? Better artist. Basketball. Better <laughs> artist. Looks. If it's basketball, I'm going. Uh, Better Kendrick. artist. Oh. But that's like apples and oranges. It's not oh, really Kendrick. It, that was easy. <laughs> that was very. That was. That was. That's why. I, that's why I was with Lou. Like, what are we talking about? Because we talking about rap. But it, that's easy. So I need something else. Acting Drake. But if we talking hip hop, Kendrick. That's mm. next question. He didn't say. He didn't say hip hop though. He said. He said artist. Artist. And that's, that's overall. One, that's you stage, only get to, that's, you only get to uh, listen to one of their musics. Huh? Easy, easy answer, Kendrick Lamar. I'm with him. I'm with him on that. I'm. A, I. I've never uh, been a big Drake fan, so ever. you got to think about who's been more consistent for as much as you hate to say it. Who's been more consistent for the culture when it comes to hip hop for the past couple of years? And it's been Drake. I, I wouldn't be mad if all his songs had to go away. Eh, I'm still having but, a good time at the party. But, but, Meg, you are not sitting there blasting Ooh, Kendrick man. on a regular. At all. If you I had not. to pick between the two. But you're not doing it now. And you can pick between. No, I don't listen to either one of them like that. I mean, I listen to whatever songs on like out in that's you popular. You know more but, like, Drake songs than you do Kendrick songs. I, I think favorite. so too, Lou. I think she Everybody does. No, does. I don't. No, actually, I don't. Everybody doesn't. Everybody do. Everybody does not. Uh, uh, I'm not say, like, okay, so Drake is awesome, right? Because he can, he has a lot of hits. I'm not going to deny that man that he's very talented. But if I have to pick between him and Kendrick, I'm going Kendrick because I feel like there's more of a message, and I like songs that have oh, messages you, as opposed Meg, to. Meg, Meg, you forget, you forget. We know about your college experience. I, I know what you were talking about. You're a freak, twerk. Nick. All you of don't that care shit, about nigga. a message. Yeah, you went to Freak Nick, nigga. You don't care about no goddamn. I was on a school trip. It doesn't matter. Don't do me like that. that Y'all don't do worse. that to me. You're supposed to be getting educated about a message, and you left the message to go bust that open. ass. Yeah, and I've been pulled Everyone over. Twerks. I've been pulled over in a car with you because you were you weren't listening to Kendrick. So you don't care about the message that much. You was I out here in a strip club swerving. with you, man. Was Kendrick you even was out not, back then? You was not what? having a ball to Kendrick. Kendrick been out since like 24. I'm like, that, those are the only two options in life currently. It's this is, I'm talking about in the situation you just gave us. Man. These are our only two options. Not man. in real life. In real life, I'm going 90s R&B every time. Meg, all I'm saying is you mm. use the message as a reason. And, and that's not it. 
<laughs> I'm saying if I had to that. pick between the two, yes, it absolutely is a legit reason. Shut up to here and suck mm. those Vienna sausages out of your yeah. teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Every time she say something, I be wanting her to fail, but it can, it just keep hitting. This just keep because <laughs> it comes from a place of <laughs> true anger. Here's the see. problem. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I when it comes to like hits and more songs, I know a lot of Kendrick songs. I've been following Kendrick since he was going by K Dot. I'm a I'm a big Kendrick fan, but I've been following Drake. For his entire his entire career too. And I started listening to Drake before I listened to Kendrick. So far, yeah. I heard so far gone before I heard anything from Kendrick. I didn't really I'm catch saying, wind I'm of just... Kendrick until I moved out right before I moved out to LA. And that was two thousand. If you're talking lyricists, I think Kendrick. But if you're talking about what they produced out as far as hits, consistency. Mm-hmm. Overall, being a better artist, as far as selling tickets for concerts and stuff like that, just in general, about artists, I would say Drake. If what is, what is the question? Who right, was a better artist. The question was who was a better artist. Oh, then I'm still going Kendrick. <laughs> what what would make you say Drake? Who's a light skinned dude? <laughs> I just I swear why I said Drake. No, no, no. We asking Keon like what? Because oh, yeah, he keeps <laughs> asking. For clarity I don't think questions. nothing would like, lead you away from Kendrick. I yeah. Think, yeah, I think whatever it is, you go say Kendrick. No, because if you said like who's like a more commercial famous artist, I would go Drake. You know what I'm saying? But if you're mm-hmm. asking who's the better artist, I'm going to Kendrick. So here's the problem. Well, I let's love, see what the numbers say. I I, I love I love. But that artists. doesn't mean you're a better artist. That's you know what I'm saying? saying? So like, what are we because, talking? That's what I'm saying. Like, what are well, we talking? Because because that, that's like saying that if you put uh, Taylor Swift. Up, up against Beyonce like you're not a fan of Taylor Swift like that but you cannot like she might just be a better artist in some areas nah right? she can't so dance it, to me she can't it, dance you know what she can't no, dance but Meg, Meg is referencing numbers that's what I'm saying you can't say By it's numbers, numbers because numbers don't necessarily <laughs> represent who's good at what they do it that's just means people are buying it that doesn't mean you're good listen Ugh. listen 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 we all know what I mean by artists all right we know we know that we're taking in consideration not just ticket sales we're not just album sales not just number of albums we're just talking about holistically as a better artist an entire package better to market easier to sell better tours good albums good album sales who you enjoy more who you would take your last hundred dollars for entertainment for the month and it's at the beginning of the month who would you spend that hundred dollars on drake or kendrick now now wait a minute that that changes it that last part you said if if you're saying kendrick kendrick's albums have been phenomenal i probably listen to more kendrick than i do drake but if I had to be left with only one of them, then the answer is Drake, and it's not even close because I get R and B music. I get I can change the vibe consistently. I can't really do that with I can't really do that with Kendrick. I get a night off. I get passion fruit, and I get motto, and like I get the hits. I get the slow jams. I get everything. Everything for Drake. I don't get that with Kendrick. I only get bars. But to that point is the reason why I don't want Drake. I hate R and B Drake. Can't stand what? it. What? Hate it. You don't like passion fruit. Hate R and B. You R&B don't hate Drake. passion fruit, nigga. I can't stand R and B Drake. Why? 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 Can I give me? Because he want to be Drake. He want to be the R and B dude. You tripping and dancing. He want to be. Hey, yes, you do. I've been seeing the video. Why would you I be sing? Drake? I can sing better than Drake. That's why That's I don't. Why you're mad? Because you like I sing no. better than Drake. No, I don't like. I like my singers to sing. I like my rappers to rap. No, I like to keep people in the box. Go, go, I don't go, believe go, go, go you. So, so when somebody tells like... you, when somebody comments on your post and they like, shut up and just tell jokes. You're okay with that because that's basically what you just you just said. You want Drake to just stay in this lane. No, you're you're. That's the wrong kind of reference. Which you would be. Oh, no, shut up and tell jokes, Keon. No, because I, I never said. I hate R and B, Keon. Your I hate R&B lyrics, Keon. Type of jokes to tell me. That's the example you should be using. Is the joke if they were telling me the type of jokes to tell? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Nah, bro. I don't believe you. So, <laughs> I don't believe you don't like Night Off. I don't believe you don't like I, Passion bro, Fruit. I, I don't am, believe you. I, I, I don't believe theory. you. don't like Passion Fruit. I don't need, first of all, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what that is. What, what are, what passion are, Fruit from miles away. No. Passion Fruit things you say. say. You don't like Passion up from my own. Passion Fruit is a vibe. I don't believe you, Kian Foley. Uh, in English, no. In Spanish, no. In German, nine. No, nigga. I pain? do not like it. Is that major pain? Uh, no. It's from uh, I forgot where it's from. <laughs> In German, nine. I, <laughs> I forgot where that's from. No, that hey, is a good now. point though, BT, because he does. Drake does have a lot of different types of music, and I will say I've been on a big like Afro beats kick for the last year so and of course he's been on a lot of like afrobeat artist right. songs so i mean if that's the case then i think i'd have to go you, drake even you, though that is the case. you can make three to four different genres of playlists from drake's catalog not just drake's songs drake's were on not just song drake's were, drake was on from his catalog you can make three to five different genres of playlists and I'm not shitting on Kendrick because I'm a big Kendrick fan. I'm Man, just, let me, let me I love, love Kendrick. I'm thinking, right. I love Kendrick. Listen, let me say that you guys' points are super valid. Like, super valid. I personally just hate that side of Drake. You don't, God. like, get along better, bro? Nigga, no. Like, stop asking me different questions. I do not like the shit. <laughs> like, why do you keep trying to convince me? I'll be I'm back. <laughs> I why are you so angry in the bed? Relax. Relax. You got real angry. You got a bad up in the bed. You gotta get a new mattress, nigga. A sealy Porter piece would like, never have you like, that angry in the bed. A, a what? A sealy what? You don't, don't like it. loving. Don't you, get, you don't like loving the crew. You change your answer. It's like, nigga, I said what I like. You don't, you like, don't like crew, crew love, bro. <laughs> Wait, Gian, you don't like oh. crew love. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put no I'm right now. I don't believe a lie. You don't like crew love, bro. True love, I like the weekend's part. No, yeah. nigga, no, no, that's Drake. It's on Drake's album. So what? You oh, so you do like Drake when he does R and B? No, wait, 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 wait. I, like, about, I like his part. I don't like Drake singing. Okay, what about like what Drake about singing. um uh girls just want to have which one is it? Girls just want to have fun or girls like girls? No, the one that her covered. What's sister? Yeah, I think what's sister. Yeah, that one. And jungle. What girls about jungle? Love too. Girls need love too, and jungle. I'm jungle was the one. I, I'm I, it, it, it. I don't know that song. And when I tell y'all, I don't really fuck with Drake. You know, like successful. I feel you, Kia. Because I'm gonna say when I'm like, hey, nigga, what is this? No, it's not, nigga. That's Drake. That's Trey song singing on there. These are all Drake. Drake. This is no. on for so far gone, bro. That's what I'm telling you. You do You're not, not listen. Here. You're not VT Kingsley. Brian Tyler. He's he trying to wiggle out of this one. I know. Okay. No, because he's you not. You can't listening. not like Drake. I know how you like R. Not R. listening. You love R. You're R. Not listening. I like rapping Drake. I do not like singing Drake. What part of that is not computing? No, I got you. You do not like Drake singing. I can understand that. He's not a great vocalist. I get that part. Oh, that's it. You know but what? that don't have nothing to do with that. It's a track on a Drake album that is an R and B track. But hold on, wait, wait, wait. Also, Keon. We, we, he's asking those questions for clarity because sometimes we'll give a blanket statement, but a couple of things won't apply. Like, I don't like, or I, I, I particularly don't listen to Trippy Red that much, right? But it's like four or five songs that I really fuck with, though. I ain't right. gonna hold you. And, and, and not, I ain't got I'm nothing not... against them as an artist, like, why well, I don't li like them. It's just, I mean, I, I don't like them, I don't listen to them. It's just that I, I haven't been exposed to a whole lot of his music that I like. Most of it, I'd be like, ah, oh, this is this too much. But four or five of them motherfuckers go so hard. We, so if I say I don't dude, listen I'm to not saying, head, it's a blanket statement. I'm not saying Drake ain't talented. Like I said, when Drake is rapping, like, for real, I think he's super dope. Drake obviously got hella hits. Drake has been uh, relevant and at the top for how many years now? Like, just long, long time. So, a long time. So it's not almost not 20 a, years. I don't like when Drake is singing and I don't like when Drake is emo. I don't, that's not my shit. Like, I don't oh, like I got it. two questions. I'm not answering any more of your questions. Do you Drake, like best I ever had? Done. You are done. Do you like best I ever had? What song is that? Best I ever had. That's a yes. 
Come on, nigga. Don't lie to us, dog. Don't lie to us, dog. Come on. Come and on. and when, you hear us, night, when you hear Night Off, do you only listen to Lloyd's part? Or do you only like Lloyd's part? Which which song is Night Off? Night Off. Uh, Spending every moment in the studio. I don't know that one. You know that one. All right, Keon, let me ask you this. Now, is Drake okay. the only artist that you feel this strongly about? Like, you don't like that version of the singing? Because, like, did you like Kanye singing? Like on no. 808s and Heartbreaks? 808 is my least favorite. I hate that album. Okay. A lot yeah. of people so, hate that so album. So in fairness, in fairness to me, because I I'm from Houston. So uh, outside of contrary belief, Drake is not the first rapper to start singing, Nick. We had Devin the Dude, we had Big Mo, we had Come in there. Most of the Houston rappers really? also sing. Yes, Nick. I mean, <laughs> we had Ja Rule, we had 50 Cent, so I'm <laughs> They weren't, they weren't before Devin the Dude, okay? I don't, for us, that was the first one. We wasn't listening to Devin the Dude in New yeah, York. Definitely. All right. You uh, Devin was on Biggie's uh, Life After Death. And we don't skipped get, fast forward. Get, no, okay? you did not. That was a hit. Don't we get, would skip fast forward. Don't be forward. disrespectful to the dude. Was there nobody in New York like, yo, Devin the Dude, though? Yes, you was. That's my dude. No, you love Devin the dude. They love Scarface. Don't you do that today? No, 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 no. But <laughs> no, 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 us, when we started hearing Ja Rule sing, it was like, thing. oh, we yeah. got a rapid ass. In fact, the funny thing about Squadcast is to hear poses a question, niggas answer the question, and everybody else be like, fuck your answer. Like, we gonna tell you. <laughs> we gonna tell you. Nah, let's, Keon. let's poke holes in this nigga's answer. This okay? ain't your I first time on this show. You know what you was getting into. The hell what you think and what you feel about yourself. We gonna tell you <laughs> what the hell you did. Right. Because your answer ain't shit. And that's some shit. And we need to get a pot, okay? All right, well, let's put it to a vote. Let's put it to a vote. You also lose no guidance. That's fine. He don't care. <laughs> He don't Yo, care. He don't care. But Chris Brown? I do not oh, think that. That shit goes yeah. so hard. You crazy. That song, that song's oh, fire. So I don't know none of these songs if you don't sing the hook. The oh, that's on like, fire. He's that's on fire. He's to the dance and the beat that's And I say so good. It feels so good. You got it, baby. Oh, you got it. Hey. Hey. Hey, you got, you got it. it. I don't know. He you got it. know you be singing that song. That song, that's on fire. That's on fire. I know because you love R and B Drake, nigga. Face <laughs> <laughs> <That's not fun. laughs> uh, ass. Watch his next uh, R and B lyrics. We let slide. It's gonna be all <laughs> gonna be Drake. I actually did. I did no guidance already. You see? I did that song already. All right. Well, let's put it to a vote, man. Uh, Drake or Kendrick? What are we going with? Drake. Ugh, Drake. Drake. If I can only listen to one, I got to take Drizzy. Okay. Right. And Keon and Kendrick still? Yeah. Took the soft ass up. All right, we're going to jump into the <laughs> right after Another this. one like Drake, you the soft one. <laughs> Last topic of the day, we have, would you rather be always musty no. versus always sweaty? Ooh, always sweaty. I'll I'm sweat. Cool. I'll sweat. Sweaty. Yeah. I like being sweaty. I work out a lot. Stop that, Kia. Kia, stop that. You know me better than that. Stop that, Kia. Kia, stop. I mean, Kia some would say me. that one activity is a workout as well. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. People like to be sweaty. I People do. Sweaty, sweaty. I feel like if you don't, if you don't, if you're working out, you're supposed to be sweaty. If I'm not sweating while working out, it's not a workout. Right. BT, what you got? I have a confession. You always must eat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm always sweaty, for sure. <laughs> I'm a sweaty bastard. It don't take a lot. I'm sweating now. <laughs> I'll be on stage 45 seconds, drench. Yeah, you will be sweaty mad quick as soon as you get off stage. I know. Hey, hey, hey. I know, and then you be wearing all that velour, too. I don't... It, I that is, like, the, the most, like... Wait, I got I got more pictures of BT doing this with a, with a napkin than I got with him just regularly smiling. BT, like, I've never told you this. When you when you get on stage at Chocolate Sunday, we time you to see how long you do your first <laughs> fight. I am. Uh, I'm hey, a, last time you was at the Laugh Factory, 
And bro, I, you... I, I brought you up. Literally, I brought him up and he put his shit down and then he was dabbing his head. I'm like, you, you just got here. His fastest time is seven seconds. <laughs> he got on the bench. And he was sweating in seven seconds. Yo, and I'm not a little bit. It's like a full drench. Yeah. You're like a Whitney he put Houston his shit sweat. On the stool. And then was sweating. Drench. I was like, he just got here. How did he sweat already? Just got here. Seven just said, ladies and gentlemen. Like, hey man, how everybody doing tonight, man? Y'all good, man? Everybody doing? <laughs> Y'all good? Oh man, what's oh. right here? Hey BTB, want to dap up and hug you when he get out? Nah, man, get out of here. Man. Sweating, hugging, hugging, dude. Sweat. Right. What are you get? What you get? You, are you, get? <laughs> you be sweaty, hugging, dudes. You, you. <laughs> I think a hug me. I had to oh go to the car and change shirts. I oh had my god! Rest on the front. Bro, of my I'm shirt. the most non-sweaty, like, nope. as, as unathletic nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Boy, for me to not play no sports, nigga. I, but I, I, that's why I swam in high school, nigga. <laughs> so they can yeah, to, to wash the sweat off of you. Nobody do. And that's why you be having them scarves on. That's a, just an instant napkin. Like, nigga, that's a fact, bro. I'm a sweaty bastard, bro. Seven, seven. You know seven. you can get Botox to help with that. No, because my skin's fantastic. I, I feel like no, 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 no. Botox helps to stop sweating. Like some women will get it in their armpits for the sweat glands. That's, you're supposed to sweat. They, they limit weirdos. Oh man. No, I'm saying because they have like overactive sweat glands. Sometimes some women will get that, or even men, I think. Get no, it I mean, in get the... it everywhere. I sweat everywhere, man. <laughs> my... well, you got to get Botox everywhere and all your creases. We just going to sweat, baby. BTB sweat team, baby. Shout out to the freaky girls that's licked it before. (laughs) She's a very freaky girl. She be licking sweat tag. She just sit there with a cup by your underarms. Like, hey, come on. (laughs) BT day, girl, the hypertension. (laughs) Look, get a little bit of that bacon grease on my forehead, baby girl. (laughs) <laughs> so what you ate today? What you ate today? <laughs> I I be sweating, bro. I... And then, hey, you know, well, why you you why don't you I... turn your air up? I mean, to air doesn't, down. So you can... nothing's saving me. It doesn't matter. When I was smaller, when I was bigger, nigga, I be sweating, bro. <laughs> nothing stopping it. I hate that like, sweat. Ain't you hot? I'm like, nigga, everybody hot. Oh, I'm hot. It don't matter what I got on. I'm gonna sweat. I hate when you you have to you're rushing, you gotta take a shower real quick and change clothes, and your body doesn't get a chance to cool down before the shower and the clothes mm-hmm. it on. Nigga. You start sweating. That's mm-hmm. the okay. worst. You gotta get right in the car, your back still sweaty, still damp, still mm-hmm. oh kill me. I'm driving off a cliff. I'm driving off a cliff, nigga. <laughs> so you gotta put like, powder under your breast. The you don't have, have that more, problem. Are you still wet? So the lotion don't rub in right. Oh. You got- it just get all watery. You were like, you were like, damn. damn it. Never musty. White all streak all street. over my face. I can't go outside with white streak. People, why are you gay? You <laughs> on your fist, sir. <laughs> on your face. <laughs> yeah. Man, I yeah. hate it, bro. I hate it. Seven seconds is hilarious. Seven seconds, bro. I timed you because me and Kira was like, I was like, this nigga be sweating. I'm a time him. <laughs> do you th- is it linked to nervousness? Do you think? Oh. I don't even this have to be doing sweaty. that. I'm sweating now. Yeah, I'm sweating. I just my musty. Board. I don't. There's no excuse for musty. No, yeah. no logical excuse for musty unless it's your religion. Or you just been going that hard in the gym, like you using that natural deodorant. People that be like, oh, I use natural deodorant. You still stink. Like that's not an excuse. Yeah, it's not. Like you know, deodorant. you know the lifespan of that deodorant. You got a, a hot forty five minutes before you need to reapply, or you got to go home. I've never smelled anybody with natural deodorant that smells fresh all day. Right. I no, know. you have you to reapply. Extra, you have they got to got an extra one them. in their pocket. Like, why you gotta carry like reups? Like, and that's vegan, crazy. vegans be stinking the most. No, that's a natural like. Earthy no, green smell. Nah. You say what? Be, have you have, be no? Have you noticed that vegans be smelling the way a green juice smell? This shit stank. 
<laughs> That's because coming out the green juice coming out. It's they natural, it. like niggas. I can't, like, I can't, I can't, I can't confirm this. Like I ain't never. I know a lot of vegans. They do not be stink. Vegans, they, they, don't stink, stink they don't stink. They don't stink. He said they walk around smell like kale. They he, they smell like vegetables, and you know BT <laughs> don't like that. Man said these niggas smell like an entire community of people smell like green juice. I love it. I love it because I love a good green juice. Okay, so I have vegan. no problems with it. I ain't never smelled a, a, a real vegan, so I don't know. Vegan I do. Vegan. I, it's because and I can smell it right now. I love that smell of vegan people. Mm-mm. When they what like they a green they juice they died, is all... wild as hell, nigga. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> Y'all can't, y'all ain't never smelled nobody that smell like green juice and they vegan? No, oh, man. <laughs> oh, just me? Okay. Vegans be funky. I ain't never like, oh, you smell like celery. That sounds good. Oh, man. I like it. That's funny, man. man. It's like the way the little natural food store be smelling. It's that same smell. Mm. Nah. Nope. No. They be wearing Great. cologne too, man. No, like, no, vegans don't. They rub rocks on themselves. <laughs> <laughs> they crystals. Erica Badu so said she rub- used the crystal. She rubbed that crystal up and down her arm. She said like 300 times on her underarm. 300? Mm-hmm. That's a real thing. Nah. I'm not bullshitting you, Lou. I promise you I'm not bullshitting. That's, That's a real a thing. Time. 300? Vegas <laughs> baby. He said, bro, she was on the Breakfast Club talking about how she used the crystals as deodorant. Does, do this? Does she have a bionic arm? Erica Badu. Interesting. Uh, bro, Does that really work? People, I'm gonna look it up bro, right now. Vegans be rubbing crystals and rocks and shit on their body. To because make- here's the thing: it, it because how you sw- like what you smell like when you sweat is a direct correlation of what you eat. Yeah. So a lot of times. Like, like, for example, or anything you consume, have you noticed like when people um, get drunk or they've been drinking a whole lot, especially like liquor, whiskey, they smell that like <laughs> the next day, the next morning, they smell like liquor. That's your body like trying to get rid of that through your pores. So I feel like whatever you smell like is what you ate and what you consumed. No, so that's why. But yeah. I've, been around, I've been around to hear a lot. He don't smell like hot dogs and pizza. Yes, he do. <laughs> you lie. He like no, to hear, him, alive, to hear be spraying a lot of sprays and a lot of Axe body That's spray. So he smells good. Why the vegans yeah. not have access to the same sprays? He they do. Like I'm talking about the natural, the natural body smell. been tested on animals so they won't wear it. Because vegans think they shit don't stink too. They be like, no, it's not just plants and bark and shit. No, nigga, you stink, bro. They be stinking, bro. You, you just smiling? don't like vegetables, BT. Just say it. No, I, I, listen, I am a sweaty bastard. I don't ever stink, though. Hold on, let me let me show y'all real quick. Um, uh, see if I can do it real quick. You Google it, didn't you? So vegans be stinking. They did a poll on I, USA USA Today. I can't, I can't, I can't agree with it. <laughs> vegans don't be stinking. Once they take eggs out, they die. They funky, bro. Hold on, let me see if that's I can see. Not, that's here it is not right here. accurate. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Think, think about it. Be for real. And I can, I can ask you questions, and I'll be honest. Uh, for most earthy people, or you turn the volume up. Me as an earthy me. Oh, you want to do earthy me? No, she, yeah, she does no. earthy people. This is what he thinks. Well, okay, I want to hear what he thinks it does. Oh, like you like to say, like moment, you said, right, number one. I, I don't have. Did you? I did not work in here with the backpack. I don't have a chew stick. I shave my legs and under my arms when I want to. Okay. And come on, what else? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they wear the crystals. Crystal rock deodorant don't work. Yes, it does. You have to. Let me tell you the trick to it. <laughs> let me tell you the trick. No, no, y'all too lazy. This is what happens. You have to stroke under the arm 100 times. On your side. Yes, it's easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. You gotta put your on 100 times. Listen, but then you don't have to put no more on for like three days. That is not true. That's what y'all oh, are. I swear to God, Jesus and two more white people. It's true. <laughs> so there you go. That's how she oh, says she do it. She said for three more days. She said you only got to use use the odor for like three more days. After you I mean, it. I believe it because she has a very clean diet. So I believe it. I believe Erica don't stink, but in general, vegan be stink. Yeah. I mean, it's confident when you're selling incense that supposedly smell like your coochie. That's, I mean, that's confidence beyond. Approach. How do you capture that smell? I wonder. 
Like, how do you like this? capture the scent? Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> like, what did you add to be like, mm, cinnamon, bergamot? Like, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 that's not it. No, uh, no, no. It didn't taste the nigga. <laughs> Let's put it to a vote, man. We ain't gonna never agree on this. I want to in the chat, y'all. Vegans be stinking. When you do, <laughs> when you do that kind of scent, do you have like you know how they do test runs with everybody else? Do you test that on people as well? You got to. They have yeah. to be. Uh, uh, Wait, uh, was that is that like everybody you slept with? Like here, do this. Do this smell like me? Is that? So is that like, how do you? If that is a thing, then I I, I volunteer as, as tribute. Hey, I've been <laughs> wanting the pack. They sell out immediately oh, every time. You. It's just Every calling time they Andre out. 3000 and another baby daddy that's like, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's about right. That's about right. I had a little bit of cinnamon, a little tang. That's... Don't, don't you got a baby with Jay Electronica too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she she got Jay baby Electronica with, and three with... stacks, right? But she, she got, got, what? She got three, four kids? She got three, four kids. Three kids, kids. Too. three kids, three baby daddies. She didn't get one with Common. She didn't have one with Common. She got one. This is another one though. Oh, the DC. What's the 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 doc? The do. What's his name? The oh, she got one with doc. Yeah, I think the youngest one. Look it up. Look it up. I think the youngest one is with uh J Electronic, and maybe then the, the middle, middle one, one is the doc. Yeah, yeah that's right. She did have no, a baby no, with J right. Electronic. That can't be right. That can't be right. The oh the youngest. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say because the oldest He's is not rapping right. after that. Why why don't y'all just look this up? Google I'm looking it up right now. You're using oh. our brains. Yeah. Keon, don't be a stick in the mud, bro. Just you've been a stick in the bed, bed all day. Don't be a stick in the mud, bed, too. Bro. It's not it's not in the bed, bro. Laying like this with his Yeah, the DLC. Cross. Yeah. Like, that didn't want to give us no energy are, today. That bed, that bed says all you niggas are peasants. <laughs> <laughs> the only only time he got hype is when it was about Drake. No, no, no. That's because no, BP no, would not take my answer. This nigga would not. And I was right, nigga. <laughs> And I was right. I, I do not fuck with Drake like you that. Don't like, you don't like Drake singing, but you like some Drake singing songs. He's very talented. Wait, I have to ask y'all a real question because I need to understand this. It's about the Freak Nick documentary. Mm. Did y'all watch it? I ain't watched mm. it yet. I'm going to watch it this week. But do y'all remember how, like, when you think about, like, Luke and you think about, like, um, MC Imagine. Hammer, like, you think about their music videos. And remember how, like, people use girls used to shake their butt, right? Mm hmm it was like a, it was like one of those type of, right, it was, so then nowadays when girls shake their butt, it's like an ocean, their booty is just oceaning, like a, you know what I'm saying, what, like, when did that happen, and how, why did it happen? That was I was watching that whole documentary, and they showing, like, everybody be, like, everybody popping their butt, but it was nowhere twerking, near twerking, twerking got big, what, 10, 12 years ago, yeah. but it got big in the, culture and, and popularity rise but we would they were twerking before that they were twerking at the lock-in right but here's what i'm saying it don't look the same yeah, so yeah. what so, happened so the twerking so the dancing happened. back then the ass shaking ass, the dancing back then was ass shaking twerking came like 98 2000 like i feel like that's that's when we got more really twerk music i i feel like I mean, and it, it started in the strip clubs for real Mm -hmm. I would, I would, what, oh, was the strippers in like the 70s what was they doing wait are you talking about the texture body roll of the, of the body are you talking about like are you talking about the no, way so you know how like girls with like especially with bbls it'd be when they shake they butt it'd be looking like a wave right they just be like that is just a lot of but you don't even have to have a bbl to do that but it's just a technique and then i realized they weren't doing that when i was watching this documentary in the 90s and i was like what happened like what Change I believe to this booty shaking. Of booty shaking has been around since. This is Uncle Luke for sure. This is Ska for sure. This is, keep, keep coming. It was right. always that. But but I don't know. But I know what you're talking about because the 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 world yeah. came. But I mean, the, even shaking. even when Luke was doing that, that was still like more like just booty shaking versus like when they be doing the isolation type shit and making yeah. the booty. Yeah. Like yeah. Look like it's doing that. Like that's more shit that I feel. I feel like the strip is popular. Popular. Like porn that. increased that. But anyway, listen. Let's put it to a vote. Always <laughs> musty. No, always I just have to know. Look always at Keon. Yeah, be quiet, Keon. Don't say nothing. Don't get in trouble. Sweaty. <laughs> sweaty. Oh yeah, exactly. sweaty, sweaty, sweaty for sure. Sweaty. Sweaty. BT. I don't have a choice in this. 
<laughs> Looks like the sweaty has it on that one is unanimous, man. They got special guests for two today. BT King Sleep. Wait, the wait. Do you, know, do you know that Keith Sweat fan base is called Sweaties? <laughs> I did not know that. I don't approve, but I did not know that. I want your body. <laughs> he put a video out. He put a video out. And he was like, to all my sweaties. And I was like, what? I want you to. BT, what you call your people? Uh, Kings the Crew and the Queensley. But I should probably switch it up. Yes. The Queensley. In the Kingsley crew. Shout out to uh, the OG squad. We got Meg Scoop, Lulu Gonzalez. I'm to hear more. Thank you guys so much at home for watching. We'll see you next week on another episode of Squadcast Versus. Oh, look at you, guys. There's a lot of chords down here. <laughs>